What's up? It's Coach J Pro, and today we're gonna jump into a three minute beginner boxing drill for the reflex or cobra bag. So I had lunch with my mom last weekend and I showed her my YouTube channel for the first time. And honestly, I thought she was gonna be blown out of the water with the production and the lighting and how far I've come. But she was more like, no, I like it. I like the trainings, but you're talking too much. People don't wanna hear you talk that much. Just jump right into it. So that's what we're gonna do. So throw your gloves on, approach your bag, and you wanna get into your boxing stance. And we're gonna start at around 50% power, throwing out that jab. Now, the key thing here is notice how long I'm waiting between each strike, which at first might feel really unnatural because when we throw our gloves on, we get excited. We wanna go all out, speed or power. Now we're gonna switch over to the two. But to develop timing with this bag, you wanna really take your time to learn how it moves and to learn how to control it. Now your bag might move differently than mine, that's okay, but the idea is that you're taking as long as you need in between each strike. Now we're gonna go back to the one. Seems pretty simple. But sometimes the most simple drills are the most effective. Now, as you start to get more and more comfortable, you can increase your speed, but it's all about maintaining control. It's better not to rush it. We're gonna switch back over to the two. Better to go nice and slow until you can fully control your bag. Okay, now we're gonna go into a one-two. So you notice my timing on that one-two, I'm putting them together a lot quicker. Now I can still wait as long as I want in between each combo. Last 30 seconds, we're gonna do one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. If this is feeling weird, just keep going with the ones and the twos until you can comfortably flow with the one, two, one, two. One more. And time. So hopefully this drill was helpful for you to start to develop timing on your straight punches I'd recommend only throwing ones and twos until you start to feel more and more comfortable with your bag. Because once you get the straights down, you can move on to the hooks and the uppercuts which are a lot harder, but it's gonna open up a lot of fun stuff down the road. So take your time. Please like the video if this was helpful. Throw me a comment and definitely subscribe to the channel for a ton of other drills, workouts, and different things to do with your bag. And once you get going, I wish you all the best in your boxing training journey, and I hope to see you again real soon. Ish, ish. Ish, 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 ish. Ish.